Color just really dark, just it's a nice stout dark dark color. So prairie bomb versus fucking Valen Point Sculpin. Go ahead, Corey. Get the poor. Just small samples. I ain't no but lie, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, golden, kind of on the yellow side of golden. The the head was really thick at first when it was first poured, but now it's kind of become just a, a film of bubbles. Kind of fruity smelling more than pine. I mean, you get you get a little bit of that uh, fruity hop character, you know, pineapple, citrus. So I, I that that fruitiness is kind of on the nose. Kind of definitely carries through to the uh, to the flavor of the beer. You get that uh, that mango. It's a little bit more malt forward than a lot of IPAs, which is nice. I think it's got a good balance between the, the malt character and the hop character in it. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoy this one. I think it's pretty tasty. Um, you know, I would disagree with you on the malt forward part. Um, you definitely get kind of that light, refreshing aspect, but I feel like I almost want to call this a pale ale. It has a pale malt quality that's not overwhelming like a like a 90 minute that we were talking about um, that is just almost barley wine intensity with the malts. It's definitely drinkable. Um, I'm not sure it, I'd go out of my way for it. The calling from Boulevard, I take that over this. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I can see where you're coming from with like the pale ale quality to it. Like it's definitely a little bit lighter as far as the hop care profile goes, as far as IPAs are concerned. But right. It, you know, you're right. I think it's drinking. It's drinkable. It's refreshing. I think it'd be a good summertime beer. Just tastes like good coffee with a hint of chocolate, and maybe I'm missing out on the vanilla, but. It's just got a very consistent and solid taste to it. And it's just, it's just super, super tasty stout, and you can't go wrong with with, with the bomb. <laughs> I mean, you definitely get the dark roasted malt flavor right up front. Um, you know, that same coffee flavors that we were talking about, and the and the scent and carry through to the flavor really nicely. Uh, there's a little bit of booziness to it. Um, just slightly on the back end of it, you definitely get that booziness, which almost gives it more of a dry flavor, dry finish. Um, you get a little bit of the coffee, uh, a little bit of the just a, just a tiny bit of chocolate on it, more of like milk chocolate than a, than a uh, really super dark chocolate. Just because of the sweetness that comes through on the flavor, I really enjoy this one. Um, I'd agree. You definitely get the bittersweet chocolate kind of flavor. Um, you also get, there's co uh, vanilla bean in it as well, and you get just a little bit of that, and then it also has chilies, which I think you get, it's really subtle, uh, it's not, you know, you get a lot of these chili beers that are just in your face, spicy chili flavor, and a lot of times it's like over, over, overwhelming, um, but I think this works, it's just, they kind of sneak it in there, so. Yeah, kind of paired with those raw vanilla and, and cocoa flavors, which I didn't even actually notice until you, noticed it, until you mentioned it. But, you know, it, uh, alongside those, you can definitely uh, see that really more subtle, uh, <laughs> subtle pepper flavor. The general consensus is the Prairie Bomb is way better than the Ballast Point. <laughs> <laughs>